we're going to start by opening up Visual Studio. Start, all programs, Visual Studio 2005, and then again Visual Studio 2005. In Visual Studio, we're going to create a website. So I'm going to go to File, New, Website. And here we're going to choose ASP.NET Website. And for the location, it's going to be HTTP. The other options are File System or FTP. The language is going to be Visual C Sharp. Then for the actual URL, we're going to put HTTP training underscore layout, which is the virtual director where all the application pages are stored, and then website. I'm going to call it app SharePoint dev. Remember that underscore layouts actually maps to program files, common files, Microsoft shared web server extensions, 12 template layouts folder. So that's where the application files are going to be stored. And then let's click OK. Okay, now the website has been created, and you can see that by default it has one form page, just default.aspx, and there's a code behind called default.aspx.cs. So at this point, I'm just going to go to default.aspx. Okay, you can look at this page in the design mode, and I'm going to put a label on here. For this label, I'm going to change the ID. save the page. And uh, then I'm going to go back to the code behind. And in the code behind, I'm just going to say label message. Hello there. And then save it. All we have to do is test out that this page works. So I'm going to press Control F5, and this will run it'll actually build and run this website. So Control F5. And you can see that the application opens up. So we can see training, underscore layouts, app SharePoint dev, and then default.aspx. And the application just says, hello there. So fair, fairly simple.